So here's the plan. Seeing as Alex is a little bit fragile, I'm going to tell him that we've got a new car that's just arrived. He has no idea that I've even taken delivery of this car. I haven't seen him this morning or had the opportunity to speak to him. He's not going to be expecting the AMG GTS to be there, but he's certainly not going to expect a Rolls Royce Dawn to be sat in our parking spot. I'm going to give him the keys. I'm going to get him all excited about telling him that actually I've managed to sort him myself out on the insurance, meaning that he's going to be able to drive a Rolls Royce Dawn around Dubai as he starts moving off I'm just gonna be really harsh tell him actually no I'm joking it's only me that's in shield in the car <laughs> ready to go pretty much all right oh. is that it yeah baby <laughs> have you just got us the perfect like Dubai daily cruiser it is right um by the way you're insured mm. what is no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no time of the year in Dubai when this car's not perfect. Right. Two outside. Let's go. Oh, this thing is big <laughs> in a small car park. I'm gonna be sitting alone. Like, I didn't care that I couldn't drive the AMG. Couldn't drive the AMG GTS because it was cool just cruising around. Go and straight on here. I mean, I only had it for a couple of days, but being able to drive this now, now that like settled into Dubai, this is cool. Yeah, about that. Stop, 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 stop. I don't know how much more you're allowed to drive. Why? Um, because I was only joking. What? <laughs> Put it back into park. We have to stop. Why? I'm only sure to drive this one. What? <laughs> <laughs> you serious? I've only driven one floor of the car park. We've not even got outside yet. That's enough. I don't think Rolls Royce would even allow that. I might have to cut that out of the video. That's what happens when you don't get an international driver's license. <laughs> you can't come to Dubai without an international driver's license. Oh well. <laughs> I guess I'll just test the uh, comfort from the passenger seat. <laughs> <laughs> Myself and Alex have been talking pretty much non-stop about what would be the perfect dream two-car garage. And I believe now that we have this car, we have got the ultimate daily. So now we need a supercar. So we are going to do a bit of an idiot's go car shopping and hit up some of the most famous supercar dealers in Dubai, do a classic idiot's go car shopping to see whether we can find the ultimate two car garage and the ultimate supercar that would sit alongside this. Get in the comments and let me know what you think should sit alongside this or what do you think that there is a better daily than the brand new Rolls Royce Dawn? I can imagine it's pretty self-explanatory as to why the Rolls Royce is like arguably the best daily, but actually experiencing it firsthand from a driver's position, obviously, like, uh, I've kind of mugged you off a little bit. Yeah, you yeah. uh, have. <laughs> sorry you can't drive this car, but you have been chauffeured around in, in the back, you've been in the passenger seat, and I kind of pinpointed it down to being the perfect car that you take your girlfriend, wife on a date. It's the perfect car that you can take your family for dinner. It is just oozing class, sophistication, smoothness quietness it is like navigating a yacht on roads because you've got the spirit of ecstasy up at the front which kind of is your pointer <laughs> i've never thought of it like that before and it does doesn't matter whether you're stuck in traffic whether you're going over speed bumps because we're in the convertible obviously this is better suited for this sort of weather yes in the uk the wraith would be my car of choice. There's no soft top in the history of automotive history that you don't ruin the lines when you put a convertible on it. Would you agree? Um, in terms of soft tops, yes. I think there's some hard tops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was talking about soft tops, you idiot. Oh. 
<laughs> Can't drive the car and now this. <laughs> Look at this colour in the sunlight. There's some handprints there, I don't know where they've got them. But uh in she goes. That's not a bad start actually. 911 in Rolls Royce. What do you think of the 911? Oh, I love it. Always have. Yeah. Here we go. I can already see some outrageous cars inside. You ready? <laughs> I've been forcing him to uh, hang outside so that it is a surprise of going in for the first time. After you, sir. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, wow. Right, okay, I think we're going to be all right in terms of trying to find a, a supercar to sit alongside the Dawn. Black McLaren P1. Two 599 GTOs and one of the, the 599's got yeah, carbon. I'm looking at the gold stripe on the 599. Now, this is something that Mr. Seen Through Glass, I believe, would like. And this, this is, do you know what? This is a bit of me. I can see myself going sideways in this. Let's check this out. Please do not sit. Now this, if it was a coupe, would be the car I would go for immediately. 16M, do you like the 16M? One of my favorite Ferraris actually. Carrera GT SLR McLaren, two of the modern classic hypercars. When these two came out with the Zonda. These are two of my favorite cars. Yeah, this, these two kicked off the hypercars. There's another SLR over there and an SLS Black Series, and a Diablo, and a Murcielago SV, and the special one, the Koenigsegg CCXR, I believe, and Zach has sat in this seat and been for a ride around London. Okay, so far, the cars that we have seen, what would you have? Oh, it's, that is really tough. Uh, 918? I knew you were going to do that. Out of everything. I knew you were going to do that. What's wrong with the 19? You're just like, oh, I feel like there's so many better cars here. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to get sad. I'm going to be honest. I don't think we could have come to a better dealership here in Dubai that can provide such a variety of cars from older, modern, classic hypercars to the newest generation. The only car that they're missing really is either a Bugatti or a LaFerrari. Yeah, can, you think of any, can you think of anything else? No. Zonda, but they're like crazy rare, or Wyra, but Alan Class, literally, I've been following their stock for so long because they always get the craziest stuff in. And being out here, of course, you're going to get the craziest stuff. Oh, yeah. So, this has been one hell of an experience. I think top three cars in the showroom. In the showroom. Not okay. necessarily Bridge. now to sit alongside the Dawn. Okay, 177. Number one or just? Uh, these are not in any order. Okay, not in 177, SLS ONG Black Series. Yeah. And 92. Okay. Okay. I see that. 177 would definitely be in mine. Yeah. I'd say LP670 SV. Strong. And Carrera GT. I think would be my three. So difficult though. Yeah, the reason I've gone for 918 is because it's modern, it's actually quite usable. Okay. Some of these wouldn't be as usable. No, I think I've picked probably the three <laughs> yeah. most difficult cars. <laughs> Apart from maybe the GT2 RS. But that is it, that is us coming down to Allen class, which has been an awesome experience. I think what we should probably do now is just go over and carry on car spotting. Yes. Maybe, maybe we will find the perfect Dawn two car garage or the road. You never know. You know, it's Dubai. It is exactly Dubai. So I think let's hit the road. Let's get in the sun. Let's cruise around in the dawn a little bit more and say goodbye to what is possibly the greatest showroom I've ever been to. Best showroom you've ever been to. Oh, hands down. Yeah, hands down. So the beginning of the video, we said that the best daily was the dawn. Yeah, we've just found another best daily. This is the Allen class V-Class that has been specifically made with an unbelievable 
amount of options all there which creates this look at how unbelievable this should not <laughs> be real this is a new level of luxury that I have never seen before This is like a hotel, this is better than most hotel rooms I've ever stayed in. The seats are comfortable, these recline. And even when we thought that we had one up with the dawn because umbrellas come out. Oh no. Nah, they've thought of that. They have thought of everything. There's a bar, there's a fridge, there's a freezer. There's a coffee machine. There is a business laptop slash area. That side of the V-Class is for iPhone setup. This is for Samsung setup. You can charge your phones, it's got an HDMI cable down there, it's got a DVD player, it's got a PlayStation 4, it's got these incredible flooring designs. This is V-Class number one. Alex, stop breaking things. I'm, I'm oh god. No, there you go. <laughs> and this is the second one, again all blacked out. Ooh. See the wood? Yeah. Ooh, I like this one. Oh, this has got more of a yacht vibe to it. Yeah. White seats, they look comfy. And for a car like this, obviously you want to be driven, but they haven't forgotten about the driver or the passenger up here, which I can imagine will probably be some form of security guard. In here, it is exactly decked out how it is behind, obviously just with less TVs, coffee machines, freezers, and everything else, but absolutely beautiful and so unsuspecting as well just a blacked out v-class with an outrageous oh just just casually there i found the uh, massage seat function so i'm just going to chill here for a bit <laughs> <laughs> and then this one as well very very plush even for the driver